okay my camera died I had to check my video so I'm gonna hopefully pick up where I left off so where were we here we came 60 thousands in front of the part so we knew G54 is right here so I came 60 thousands in front of the part to rough rough face the part so now I'm going to wrap it down to a dimension of X 2.200. So we know the part is two inches in diameter. So we're going to come down X 2.2, which means in theory it's 200 thousands above, but in reality it's only 100 thousands because everything in X is doubled. So now I'm the G96 S700, that's a, a constant surface speed value. That can vary. Um, when you're cutting aluminum, it's usually higher, but I'm just using 700, that's pretty fair. And I'm turning on the coolant, which is an M08. So we rapid, we came down above the part, turned the coolant on, and we got the constant surface speed on. Now I wanna feed X negative 062 at a feed rate of 8,000 per revolution and I'll put a video in uh, or I'll, I'll throw this later in the video explaining that and I'm going to come out on a G1 move so I came down past center line and I'm going to come out 20 thousandths that way away from the face where I just cut okay I just wanted to throw this in the video um, after watching my main video I realized I this part here was all kind of crazy the way I wrote it so what I want to explain is after I made my first pass uh, coming down facing the part I did an incremental move going out uh, 20 thousandths that's what a W code is. It's an incremental move on your Z axis. So if you did a W positive 20, you're going that way, 20 thousandths. If you did a negative 20, you're going this way. We don't want to do that. So you can do it that way, um, or you can just take that out and just write Z point. Since we already were at 60, to add 20 on top, top of that, you'd be at 80 thousandths. You can just do 0, 8, 0. And that's all you're doing is just getting away from the surface that you just cut just to remove chip buildup. And that's about it. Then we're going to wrap it back up to X 2.2 to get back up here. And then come over 10 thousandths in front of the part. And then we do our next second roughing pass. And... Uh, Okay, I'll stop there and uh, splice this part into the video. I just wanted to clarify that. And I'm going to feed in to a dimension Z.010, which means I'm 10,000 still in front of my G54 plane. I'm not at zero, I'm 10,000 in front of it. And I'm taking my second roughing pass. And I'm just doing a feed rate of 20,000 just to get there quick. I mean, you could wrap it all this, but I just just wrote it down as that. Now I'm doing my second pass going down. X negative 0 0.062, feed rate of eight thousandths per revolution. And a block. Okay, so now we did two complete roughing passes. Now I want to wrap it up to a dimension of X 1.980, which means since the stock is two inches in diameter, I'm taking a 20,000 cut off the OD. And I'm going to go to a dimension almost a sixteenth of an inch in front of the part, so Z.06. So in theory, this is going, I'm coming up just like this on an angle. Oops. I'm wrapping up on an angle since I did my two faces. Now I'm going to wrap it up. Now I'm going to do another feed move. I'm going to go Z, negative two inches in, at a feed rate of 10 thousandths per revolution, which it could go faster probably for this, 
but 10,000 is pretty fair. <clears throat> so now we're gonna go G01, X2.2. So we're coming off the part. I'm gonna turn my coolant off, M09. I'm gonna rapid now, because I don't wanna feed anymore, I'm all done, to a dimension that's at five inches above center line. Now, that gets a little, I know some videos they do a uh, G53 and they have like an X value store as home, like an X, like an X home here. I never did that. I, so here, I went like five inches above the part from center line. They call it five, you know, 5.0. And then I wrapped it 10 inches away from that surface. And I turned the spindle up, M05. So I'm not saying that's the, the, the correct way. That's just the way I did it. I never, I never all, I never fully went all the way back up. I, I would get close, but never all the way. And then I would get far enough away. So when I indexed the turret, I made sure there was nothing in the way ever, because you got tooling all over the place. You want to stay way out here and just make sure you got enough room to, to make what you have to do as far as index the turret and then go from there. So that's super critical. Now I want to cancel the tool. I'm all done. So it's tool one, zero, zero. <coughs> My marker's dying. So tool one, zero, zero. And then that, that's your tool cancel. That means I'm all done using it. And then I put an M30, the squeeze in down here, which rewinds the program. And so you pretty much, you're done. So uh, what we did was we came in, came down, we did two passes, and then we came up at an angle, a little bit of an angle, and then we just did uh, another feed pass, came out, wrapped it up, wrapped it home, and turned off the spindle, turned off the, uh, well, that's, yeah, turned off the spindle. Yep, turned off the spindle, and then we rewound the program, and there you're stopped, and uh, that's it. Okay, hopefully that's not too crazy. Um, I'm gonna throw this in and uh, explain that and uh, go from there. Okay. Understanding why I wrote X negative 062 in my program when I was facing the part. We already know this is center line of the X axis. And so pay no attention to this right now. Let's move up to here. So we'll call this our tool. That's our tool holder that holds our insert. And I'll make this a little cleaner. Put this over here. And we have a carbide insert and it has a radius value of 0 0.0312. Okay. So we're we're coming we're coming down. We're facing the part. So okay. Now if I commanded, you know, an X0, say we were feeding in, I want to go down to X0. Let's move back over here. Here's our center line. Here's X zero. We still have that radius to deal with. It hasn't fully cleaned up yet. Because when you set your tools in the tool geometry page, when you're doing a skim cut to measure that tool as far as um, to give it a value, this is the part of the tool that's doing the cutting. You're cutting the OD, and then you're gonna measure it with a set of micrometers and enter that value. That's the part of the cutter that does that cut. This part 
of the cutter up here is where you're getting your Z value. Okay, so now we have to figure out, okay, why did he write this? So in order to clean that up, I have to go past center line 62 thousandths. In other words, you're taking your radius and you have to double it. So you can write down X negative 0.062 or 065, whatever you're comfortable with. Just, just to clean up because that part of radius will now clean up that little nubby that's going to be left over. Because if you put down X zero, it's going to stop here, but you still have that radius right there. And it's not going to fully clean up. So you want to enter a negative value, which is double the radius, and then go, it'll go past the center line, and that'll clean up the surface. And that's really all that means. So I hope that didn't sound too confusing. Um, okay, I'm done rambling on. Okay, everyone, thanks so much for watching my video. Uh, hopefully, I was able to help you. It's mainly meant for beginners to understand the process of writing codes if you have to do it manually um, and just getting a grasp on that stuff. I didn't want to get too crazy with all the different G codes. I'm going to do a series on kind of like what each one means. Um, so, yeah. Um, I did go back and watch uh, parts of my video and it's long and dragged out so I'm going to edit it down quite a bit and uh, all that fun stuff. Other than that, um, so yeah, from uh, from here we'll just do a, a video where we do um, putting on chamfers uh, such as um, doing either a radius chamfer or you can do a chamfer that's like a 45 and then that so I'll, that stuff's really easy to do and I'll put that in the next video and we'll go from there okay thanks so much and uh, we'll see you again